Boating is renowned for customising and pimping your Quintrex. This 510 top ender that we, we're going to fish out of this year's Flathead Classic is no exception. You can, you can see the glistening blue-black that we've customised the paintwork on. And I'm going to show you a whole heap of features that this boat's got. Let's go check it out, guys. Team Broadwater is going to have the one and only VMAX SHO four-stroke. It's the new model from Yamaha. Uh, this is one of the only ones in the country at the moment. It's 115 horsepower high output. That means we're going to get more ponies on this thing than any other 115 around. On all stock boats and all my personal boats, I love putting a transom door in it. Really allows us to gain entry into the boat uh, really easy. Now sitting here in this captain's chair, which we've had upgraded, uh, you've got easy access to your spot here that has a cutting board and also a uh, ski pole. Obviously with power like this, top enders can be used to water ski. Uh, with power like this, we could almost barefoot behind it. Now you've got great access uh, here for your live bait tank, which is standard out of the factory, fully plumbed. Now, Another thing that's great out of the factory, which we're putting on all our stock boats, is this great rod locker from Quintrex. It allows us to use the gunnel for storage and allows us to put our feet underneath so when we're bottom fishing we can we get that straight access off the boat and it doesn't impede our flicking space. Great storage in this 510 top ender. A stern uh, rotor moulded plastic bin at the back, one at the front here as well great big open uh, area here for your, for your fish and then I've also plumbed this front casting platform up with a live well. Uh, we're not going to use it in this year's classic because it's catch and release but uh, when you're bottom fishing and you want to keep a table fish absolutely perfect. Great storage throughout the whole casting platform and you can never have too much in the boat. I've got this dash laid out really well. Uh, in, my, in my hands I've got the new Seastar hydraulic steering. Uh, not essential but is, is nice on a boat this size. Uh, sitting in front of me, all your engine diagnostics. There's a new 6YC gauge from Yamaha. It uh, shows us everything we need to know on one gauge now. And then you can see this nice big Lowrance 12 inch screen. Now that's the driver's one. We do have another HDS9 that um, we're going to use in this classic as well. It's got the new 3D, the structure scan. Um, I haven't used the technology yet. It's brand new, but it's, oh, I'm looking forward to catching some fish using it. This awesome 510 top ender comes standard with the blade hull and the flared bow by Quintrex. Uh, it really helps when the weather whips up. This nice sharp entry point of the blade hull diverts any water away, makes and takes the slap out of the hull. Then you've got this great flared bow that's been with Quintrex for a, for a long time. That anything that gets over this blade hits this and diverts the water away, makes it a real dry boat, especially if you're casting off the front in some rough water. Right, guys, this is the new Minn Kota Altera. A lot of you guys have seen it on the market. Uh, it's a self-deploying 80 pound, 24 volt Minn Kota electric motor. Look at, really easy to use. And away we go. If you think this 510 custom top ender is a perfect boat for you, jump online www.broadwaterboating.com.au or we'll give our team a call at the shop. Good luck to everyone in the Flathead Classic this year. Look what we've got to explore.